The bill is passed. Lawmakers on both sides of the aisle are pushing their support behind the sale of the popular social media app. It's not even about TikTok. It's about ensuring we're protecting the data of the American people, making sure our foreign adversaries uh, can't be targeting our people. We just don't want the Chinese Communist Party owning TikTok, owning all of Americans' private data. If passed, the bill would require TikTok's parent company, ByteDance, sell the platform. If that doesn't happen, it would lead to a nationwide ban. TikTok is very much ingrained in most aspects of our life. Tech expert Stephen Social Smith says tech companies in China are forced to share their information with the Chinese government. That means giving them a peek behind the curtain at users' personal information. All these companies, uh, whether you're talking about um, X, uh, Instagram, yeah, any of the meta companies, they and, and Snapchat, they're all taking our personal information. The big difference is they're not owned by an adversarial co country. He says the power of the app was on full display when the bill was being debated last week. TikTok users across the country were hit with a notification urging them to speak out against the bill's passage. And 170 million Americans got a little pop-up ad on their phone saying that, call your congressman and by the way, just let us know what your zip code is. We'll tell you what his or her number is. Smith is concerned about what the continued exposure will mean to millions of Americans. TikTok is developing AI. In order for AI to be created and developed and work, it has to be trained on data sets. Theirs is going to be trained on the data sets of 170 million people, Americans. Hey there, thanks so much for visiting the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links, hit subscribe to get notified anytime we post content to this channel.